Now before this video officially starts, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who watched the last video and has shown support using the hashtag TPMCrew in the comments. There's literally been thousands of comments left on the videos in the last couple days, and it just truly means a lot. The TPM crew is a strong group. So thanks so much for your support, and like we said in the last video, let's keep this Disney magic alive and show YouTube that TPM Vids is here to stay. Enjoy the video. Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat Spotlight Series, where we take a look at a specific Disney related ride, event, or performance. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the full Muppet Mobile Lab animatronic show. Muppet Mobile Lab isn't listed on the park's times guide, but according to a Disney cast member on a recent visit to the park, the show performs three times a day around 10 a.m., 12 noon, and 2 p.m. behind Spaceship Earth. Can't rush science. That's right. Hello, everybody. We're going to do our demonstration right in this area, so if you'd like, there's a lot of partial shade. Hello there. Of course, to things like being barred by shrapnel, uh, doused with water, or radiation, you know, it's all good. Here we are. Thank you, Beaker. Let's get this thing started. Everyone, please gather around because it is time to have fun with science! many years I've created inventions to make everyone's life easier. Isn't that right, Beaker? We've been invited by Mr. Mickey Mouse himself to share some of the groundbreaking work going on at Muppet Labs and to get you excited about science. So hey, everybody, are you excited about science? Let me hear you! Now to bring the thrill of the lab directly to you, I've invented this most remarkable vehicle. Introducing the Muppet Mobile Lab! Thank you for that unsolicited applause. It fuels our passion for science. Unfortunately, Beaker's passion seems to be out of gas. You see, well, Beaker has decided to leave Muppet Labs. Aww. I guess it's no secret that I uh, value my relationship with Beaker very much. Yes, he's always been my best friend. I'd like to see you go, Beaker. Oh dear. I'll miss you too, buddy. All right, Beaker, that's enough. There's no crying. There's no crying in science. Well, folks, I may not see my colleague Beaker for a long time because his bags are packed and he has decided to take a long trip. But as I always say, science makes your life easier. And that's why this next invention is perfect for Beaker's big trip. I'm very proud to share with you... The Vacation Tron! Yes, with the Vacation Tron, you can go to exotic locales instantly and never have to pack a suitcase. Allow me to demonstrate. Beaker, relax. This experiment is as safe as anything we have ever done at Puppet Labs. Here we go, first we're off to merry old London, England. And it can't be London without fog. Yes, that's right. Fog that is so thick. You won't even know you are not really in England at all. Next is Alaska. That's right. Ice cold Alaska! Where the temperature cools and snow is all around. Oh, Beaker, honestly, it's only snow. Next stop is Africa. Oh, yes, that's right, Africa to see the most famous waterfall in the entire world. Victoria Falls! Yes, gaze at its misty delight. And then we travel to Indonesia. That's right. That is a country that has more volcanoes than anywhere else in the world! Feel the heat from that volcano, Beaker. Yes! Very nice. There we are, a trip around the world in under a minute and a half. Isn't science fun, everybody? Let me hear you. The experiment made you want to leave all the more? That plan backfired. Well, everyone, it looks like Beaker really is leaving Muppet Labs. We'll begin the search for his replacement soon. But first, Beaker, I think it would be fitting for you to share some parting words with us. Hey, everyone, would you like to hear Beaker say what's in his heart? Yeah. 
Oh, I think Beaker needs more encouragement than that, so let's cheer him on! Beaker! 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 All right, Beaker, the floor is yours! I've never heard you so articulate. Hey, Ruin, wasn't that fantastic? Yay! Who was deeply affected by Beaker's speech? Let's see a show of hands here. Okay, over there, bro. A few of you were. You know what, dude? Let's speak to one of these adults who was moved by what Beaker had to say just now. I'd like to talk to someone here. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. What is your name? Did you say Sarah? Nice to meet you, Sarah. What was your favorite part of Beaker's speech? The me, 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 right? It's all downhill from the me, 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 though. That's true. You know, that's exactly how I felt, Sarah. In fact, Sarah, judging by the fact that we're on the same wavelength here, you might have the makings of a future laboratory assistant. But I do have a few questions for you, Sarah. Where are you from? <gasps> me too! Oh, it's true. I shook the accent decades ago. Yes. And, uh, Sarah, what's your favorite color? Me too! It's not easy liking green, Sarah. And one more thing, what's your middle name? Me too! No, no, it's not, but you know what? That's my cat's name! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, the search is over! Let's cheer for my dude lab assistant and my new best friend! What's that, your name again? Did you say what? Is this still Sarah, or did you change it? A little bit louder? Well, if your name is Sarah, let's call you Sarah. <laughs> All right, let's chant your name. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. All right. Beaker, you can come down from there now. We've found your replacement. Uh, Einstein, help Beaker down from the lab. Don't be so jealous, Beaker. This is what you wanted. Don't you remember? The what are you doing? Stop spinning the lab, Beaker. This is what you wanted. No, Sarah's going to pedal the lab all the way around Epcot today. What do you mean you've changed your mind? Goodness. It's a very rude thing to say about the good people of England. Wait a second, I thought you wanted to leave. You want to stay? You mean it? Well, that's wonderful news. I knew you'd never leave me, Beaker. Oh, happy day. I, oh, dear. Uh, Sarah, I have some bad news for you. Uh, the position has been filled, but, but, Sarah, I know someday, somewhere in England, you will make someone a wonderful laboratory assistant, all right? Give Sarah a hand for her help today. Thank you so much, Sarah. And let's cheer for Beaker, too. Beaker's back, everybody. Yes, Beaker. Oh, Beaky, it's as if you've never left at all. Oh, well, maybe together we can show these fine folks one last invention before we leave. What do you say, everyone, to show how much fun science can be? Yeah! Yes! Well, ladies and gentlemen, you'll want to have your recording devices standing by because for those of you affected by the onset of colds and allergies, I'm excited to introduce the Anti-Sneeze Ray! <laughs> yes, yes, with the help of the Anti-Sneeze Ray, sneezes will soon become a thing of the past. With the help of Beaker here, who will be our test subject? Now, I simply pull this lever to a cloud of perfect dust and then we add just a little bit of cayenne pepper to the mixture. There we are, Beaker. You should feel the urge to sneeze right about now, but don't worry, Beaky. The mighty invisible beams from this powerful ray gun will stop that sneeze dead in its tracks. Observe. Beaker didn't sneeze, it works! The anti-sneeze ray really works! <laughs> Well, uh, side effects of this invention may include losing your wardrobe. <laughs> uh, that's all the time we have for now from Muppet Labs, but thank you all for being such a wonderful audience. Give yourselves a round of applause for being such a wonderful crowd. Special thanks to Sarah and all of our other audience members here today. Oh, Beaker, I've got an idea for you. How about a clothing stapler?
Oh, don't worry. So, have you seen Muppet Mobile Lab before? And are you Team Beaker or Team Dr. Bunsen Honeydew? Leave a comment down below and start a conversation. If you have any videos from the Disney parks that you'd like to share with us to be used in future videos, follow the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching! Click the TPM icon on the screen to subscribe to this channel and check out some of these other videos which we're sure you'll like.